What's going on here? We're processing the rest of Carl. His deer. What should I do? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Can we help you? Yes, please. Okay, do you have like a directions thing? Have you like looked? Yeah, I've this? used it before. So here's the st like stirring, but we don't need that. Need oh nice. gosh, this is gonna be really bad. I'm a little Boy, nervous. I'm what are you gonna do? Are you gonna put bacon in here too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, add some a little. Yeah, just a little spunk to it. You go horribly wrong. Yeah, maybe make it. Are you supposed to? Is there like a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Want to have the honors? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, look at it go! Yeah, yeah. We need some more. Just yeah. shove it. Use some muscles. Come on. You're a hunter. I feel like really in my element right now here in Chicago, Illinois. I had to welcome her a little bit. Oh. I guess just shove her down. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, hold on, don't do that. Random, I've never seen somebody put bacon in it. I like to do things that don't make sense, so that's why we're doing this. Protein. Is that protein? I don't know. <laughs> Probably, right? I got the burgers, how those look? Looks like a pretty normal burger. Exactly. Add the flavor to it. it. Yeah, that's yours. That's good. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Are you nervous for Cindy to try it? I am a little bit. I want people to like what I cook. Wait, I'm going. So if you're coming over here for me, you got a couple minutes. Oh, I'm allowed to have one now? No, you're not allowed to Why? have one. Why? Because you, you laugh at it all the time. I don't laugh. Let me just smell it. You can smell it. <laughs> he's a pig. He thinks he's funny. He's not funny, but he thinks he's funny. It's not funny. Not funny at all. We got the goods. Oh, we even got cheese. How long has this cheese been in the fridge? Uh, it's it's from the hot dog thing, so like a week. Okay, it's so fine. it's fresh. You never know. You don't trust us. Listen, I'm in an office with all guys. You don't know what you can trust here. It works, but I don't like it. Just see him lick like his Target lips, and food. now he's gonna go touch his feet. Slot. His gross fingers on my bun. There's a weird smell though that I just uh, uh, smell it. No, it looks very good, Dave. I'm really actually impressed. First taste test. I want you to go first though. Okay. Should I try it? You're with... a dipper. Are you judging? I am judging. That's a little weird. No, the dip then it won't get all over my hands when it overflows. He said he wanted me to go for he wanted me to go first. Mm-hmm. It's good. That's good. I think the only thing is we could have a little bit more seasoning. Not the it's... best that I've had, though, though. Not the worst. Not <clears throat> horrible. It's still I'll say good. this. I like the elk better for burger. We're going to have to kill some more stuff. We're going to kill some more stuff and then literally make this a Monday thing. I remember. Wild game Mondays. You've heard it here first. You want to try mine? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Right. He's not allowed to. Why? Because he just shits on it. Even you if he likes it. it. It's not my fault. It made me throw up three times. What do you mean? Throw up. Throw up. Dave must have mixed it with something weird. It's just, he's, not, he's not cooked right. So you made him a deer, deer burger and he threw up? He fake threw up, and he said it was good when the camera was off. Oh, he, he also has IBS. One of those. Yeah, he's got he's IBS. Got IBS. Oh, you got IBS? Yeah, nothing to do with puking. Tell everyone. That's really yeah. tough. <laughs> Tell everyone. Danny, Danny, he's got a little, his tummy hurts him sometimes. So he's got a little sensitive tummy, so he can't eat foods like this. It's fine. Has Eddie tried one of those? No, he won't try it. Oh, why? Because he won't, he won't Is try he scared? It. Yeah. He's scared. He mm. thinks he's going to get like diseases because it's an animal that I killed. I would score Dave's venison probably for, is this your first time, your first go around? No, this is like second. Oh, second well, third. I'd probably score it like a 7.3. Yeah, that's about right for a whipped up burger. 7.3. That's not bad either. It's, it's still a very good burger, but no, not the best of had. Fine lunch. I, I would eat it again. Eddie, What's up? happy 100th snake draft day. Today's not about that. Today's about the Mikey Fowler Memorial Day. <laughs> so I'm canceling the 100th snake draft in honor of memoriam of Mike Fowler. It's a 100th snake draft though. 
on a serious note. Okay. Any reflections on uh, from where um, it started to where we are now? Hundreds a lot. When I looked through the list, like it seemed even more than a 100. Like it was so many. Um, but I, I had a good remembrance of every one of them. I think. You ever see yourself see going this far? No. I mean, I told from the jump we did it because we started at the week of coronavirus, and then. It was only because I couldn't get the uh, regular blue collar interviews anymore because everyone was, you, can, you couldn't have guests, like no one could come in. So I was like, hey, I got five shows a week. We need to do something to fill time. Let's draft N64 games. And then it turned into 100. So it's crazy how that works. All right, Big Bang, today is Thursday, March 26th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. Things are going to change, obviously, because of the virus. Guests can't come in, so we're going to do kind of family roundtables here. Are you nervous, Ed, to start a dog walk with, like, all four of us and see if we can fit it in the timeline? Uh, it's going to be hard, I would say, because what we're doing is something that's, like, you could go for a while, I would say. We're going to be doing top fives. Mm -hmm. We don't really have a name for it yet. It's just going to be it's pretty self top five power rankings. Today we're doing N64 games. Not today, Carl. We are top fiving. We are top five power ranking lunch, grade school lunch, I should add, snacks. We said we're doing okay. top fives. Today's going to be a little different. We're doing Nickelodeon shows, but since there's so many good ones, we're going to have a draft of it. So it's not like a true top five, but it's going to be a fantasy draft. Mm -hmm. Okay. Snake okay. draft. Uh, yeah. We're all doing it all over Zoom. How's everybody doing today? First fucking recording over Zoom. I think this is when it's going to be start to get really bad for me, like stir crazy cabin for wise because I don't like being inside when it's nice. So This is old school. It sounds like Dave's in the Aurora basement. <laughs> for real, everyone's connection seems good. And then Dave, you're like... The Bicentennial, man. Today we're doing another snake draft on MTV shows. How are you feeling, Carl? What's that? 100 snake draft. Is that today? <laughs> I'm so... See, you can you can't hear me. I did more prep for this draft than any draft in my life. I know I'm coming off the worst draft. I know everybody's up my fucking ass. Hey, you suck. You fucking stink at drafting. You're talking to the OG champ when it comes to drafts. No draft matters more than 100. We've been talking about this draft for literally fucking six, seven months around the building because I've been asking Eddie for number 50, can we draft best drafts? And he was like, let's wait till 100, hit the centennial. It's going to be a big deal when that happens. So when I say I've been prepping for this for like six months, I'm not joking. I got a master list, multiple tabs, spreadsheets, ratings, guest ratings, topic ratings, and... Um, like we talk on Redline Radio, obviously a little butterflies, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go out there and put on a fucking show for anybody that's ever casted a vote for me. Uh, yeah. Happy birthday to the snake draft. It's not a birthday, it's, it's not a, a birthday centennial. Yeah. You fucking idiot. Man, Actually, it might be close to a birthday. Why does it mind work? Not doing it right. <laughs> what? Not doing it right. You gotta blow a little harder. <laughs> oh, okay. I hate oh, that you gotta noise. fuck it. It's yeah. so bad. It's uh, like... <laughs> Yeah, don't go to that. I can hardly contain their excitement for the 100th snake draft. You're the lowest energy guy I've ever met in my fucking life. But that's how I am. <laughs> Do you think the original Toy Story is the best Toy Story? Yeah, I, it I, is. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, know, man. Is. Toy Story 3 was the closest I've ever come to cry in a movie. Yeah. But people sleep on Toy Story 2. I think people say it's, it's a, like Toy Story 2 is a good Toy movie. Toy Story 2 is way closer to being number one than 3. I, I don't think so. It's got the best villain. Yeah. Lotso, oh, Lotso's come a on. out of the Toy Story movies. <laughs> Sid fucking kills Lotso, dude. Come on. In the I could disagree with you, Dave, but that's just upsetting. At yeah. least Sid thought they were inanimate objects, and he was just a He's psycho. Got, at least those He's toys got, got a fucking point. fighting that's... chance against Lotso. They don't have a chance against Sid. They, he had them go into a fucking incinerator. That I think Dave got you there, actually. I always get it. He, he never beats me in arguments. He does. If because well, you want Murata on your side, if you think Lotso Bear is a better villain than Sid, you need your brain checked. And he's needed his brain checked for a while. Dave looks at Sid and sees it's like looking in the mirror. Yeah, like, in the backyard you, blowing then, shit up. And how are you gonna say you won the argument because Chief agreed with you? There's other people here. Who's who is it, Dan? Lotso or Sid? I think Lotso is a, a meaner villain. Okay, I'm sorry that I can't refer to a bear's behavior because it's not fucking real. Mine is a real person. His is a fucking bear. But he's killing his own kind. Yes. Knowingly. Knowingly. Lotso, Lotso, 
Brady was there not concede. a Toy, was there not a toy Story 4? There was a Toy I haven't okay, seen Okay, so then Watson was defeated too. All right, Big Bang, today is Monday. It is January 24th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. It is Snake Draft 100. I should have said turn down your radio. I apologize. All right. Pulled some letters out of there, actually. This is a big deal. Everybody knows Chris Bryant is like the number one baseball athlete from Red Bull. He's Red Bull's biggest athlete for me. I love Chris Bryant. We did a ton of work with him this summer, particularly after he left the Cubs. This was the mailbox that was set up in Wrigleyville at HVAC, little plug for Carmen Rossi, um, to drop off heartfelt letters to Chris Bryant. And then if you guys remember, we, we went through them with KB. Yeah, okay. Well, no, wait, honestly, no. we would love to put this in the Barstool Chicago office. Yeah. It's right down the street, and we actually have a spot for it. Too. Yeah. Carl, this needs to be the suggestion of the box for uh, the Barstool. Yeah, we're going like, to well, we'll put tape over like. Yeah. Okay. We want Andrew to <laughs> criticize. We want your suggestions. <laughs> And with KB's permission and approval, Red Bulls donated the Chris Bryant letterbox to an office for suggestions. It's going to stay inside, but if you guys have suggestions, send them to Danny. He's going to write them down, handwrite them down on a piece of paper and put them in there, right, Danny? Yes, so. That's a good fit, though. Oh, yeah. They fucking love him. I do love him. Yeah. You miss him? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> if you need to mail him back, that's we, way easier too. Don't worry. A couple off? Yeah, let's just yeah take a couple. Thank you, Chris, for the best day of my life, November 2nd, 2016. It's been great seeing you grow KB forever. <sighs> Dear Chris, <laughs> just know the time you spent with the Cubs were some of my happiest times and memories. Trips to Chicago were the highlight of our year. Keep being the amazing person you are. I mean, shut up. Fuck Tom Ricketts. Funny. To Chris Bryant from Stan. Dear Chris, I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. I left my cell, my page, and my home phone at the bottom. I sent two letters back in autumn. You must not have got them. They're probably. It's on the bank. Here's we're, another one. We're committing. We're, we're going the full Stan song. Well, here's another one. To Chris Bryant from Stan. Dear Mr. I'm too good to call or write my father. This will be the last package I ever send your ass. It's been six months and still no word. I don't deserve it. Dear Chris, one question. Are you happy? Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> my buddy bought me a turbo, man. Thought it'd be perfect for the show. Think it might be too big though. It's a concern. It's a big fucking box, dude. Did anyone know turbo mans were this big? No. Gee, fucking Arnold. They weren't kidding. Yeah. What do you have to do to get oh, that? No <laughs> shot. No shot. It's gonna have to be a top shelf. Is the top shelf even be? Is it seen? On the wide shot, I think so a little bit. I mean, even not, it's still fucking pretty sick. It's awesome. I didn't right. even know they made them. Like, yeah, I, I, I mean, that's like way more. It's got a lot more balls than I thought it would. You know? Yeah. It's thick. It's fucking turbo man. Awesome. Gotta get a live nude sign going too. The shelf needs. If you're watching, you got something cool in relation to a past dog walk, send it in. If I think it's cool, I'll put it up. But if not, it might not go up. So you're taking a chance. But I would appreciate it. It'd be nice. What's going on, Eddie? Uh, we just did the dog walk, go listen to it. It's Thursday, we had a free swim, behind the scenes crew with Hannah. Yes. We're gonna go see the car. Well, we could we could cut this if you don't, but I feel like it would, like, I heard, I heard you got a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that's what this was gonna be. <laughs> so really, it's just my uncle's, I'm just borrowing it. Drop top, no lease, bar straight cash, y'all stay mad. New chick, new bag, pulling up, got 200 on the dash. So yeah, I bought a Tesla. Um, no more riding around in the Mercury Mariner that had no heat. I've been in this fucking guy's car where the like, heat doesn't work properly, so he blasts it, and we're all there, and everything steams up, and then it's wearing like fucking uh, National Lampoon because he's got to roll the window down on the highway. 
Everybody. You know, I've been in the car for fucking three hours. All right, welcome to my uh, 2009 Mercury Mariner. Little SUV action here in the Barcelona Chicago parking lot. Uh, pretty messy back there, fair warning. It's the winter jacket, old Blackhawks hat. So it's a little bit of an upgrade. And yeah. What's next? Like caviar for lunch every day? <laughs> See, this is, you gotta get in front of it. I'm still the fucking same old same. Like you, you ever see like David Dobrik's like talk show? Yeah, that's why they said like you didn't have to get white seats, but I felt like that's kind of what makes the look. Are you gonna right? do like a talk show in here now? Yeah, they yeah. Should. They have like a karaoke yeah. feature. All the plumbers and carpenters are gonna be stacking up back here now. <laughs> walking. I don't know what the deal was with her, but they were soda cans diameter, about 12, 14 inches Dumpers? long. Ra yeah, wrapped around the bowl. And it was a woman? Looked like a snake wrapped up in there. Let's not be remiss that yellow card was Wait, already playing when so we got it. <laughs> there's like a, um, <laughs> there's like a, there's, yeah, we, I, we do have yellow card rocking. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Um, well, not even one of their good songs. It's lights it's, and sound. It's like a fucking. This is, this is like deep cuts. No, it's like, like, it's like a B side. I, it's on I Miss You Radio. I'm not like going through anything. It's just like they play Blink-182 and shit. What if I got my stuff? From the office, you guys gave me a ride home. Yeah, that works. Oh, wow. yes. Go grab it. You know, just I, expert conjure your way into a ride I, home instead of having to I, take the train. Yes. But listen, I, I could give more explanation, but listen to that dog, right? Like, that's like the best. I yes. explain everything about this car, so go listen to that. I'm not just promoing here. But yeah, I, I I couldn't deal with a car that was fucking void of heat. Well, it's like such a fucking, it's, it's not a natural fit. You know what I mean? Like it, people think <laughs> like I probably drive like a 1988 Buick and that's like what I fit in with, with my, you know, how I look in my persona. I'm not like a Tesla guy. So it's funny. I understand the comedy in it. What attracted you to it most? Do you want yeah. me to be honest with you? This is like the first thing I bought in my life besides like a fucking TV in college, you know? So I'm not, I've never really been, I'm not like a possessions guy at all. And uh, what attract, I needed a new car though. My car, it was just like, it was time to go. And the value thing got me. Yeah. The fact that like, I don't know, I just couldn't wrap my brain around buying a different car and be like, oh yeah, right when you pull off, it's like, it loses this yeah. much value, you know? And so knowing like how in demand Teslas are and how like they hold their value, that's what ultimately sold me. Okay. Is that a fair reason? That's that a totally good reason. Yeah. Also, you just want one. That'd be, yeah. That's What'd a good say? reason. I, just wanting one. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, but I'm not yourself. like I'm far like I'm not like an Elon like fanboy or nothing. I love Elon. But, do you? I do. I mean, I respect the guy. I'm not like against him. I think he's cool. I think the car is like it's it's like unbelievably nice and it's well built and it's I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and like preach to you about how it's the future because, but it probably is right. I don't right. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Just own it. Do you think it's the future or not? <laughs> I don't know. I honestly, yeah. I mean, it might be. Is this Uber for Hannah? Yeah. Hannah just robbed our merch rack and got in the car. Stop. That's nice, feature. right? That's a nice fucking feature. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's so smooth. Like butter. It's quiet too. It's like a spaceship. I feel like I'm in a spaceship. I feel like I'm in a fucking <laughs> the, the, the roof is sick. It yeah. feels like we're in like a convertible. And that whole thing open. I'm too poor to be in here. Yeah, this is <laughs> Is there a Tesla wave? Says, I don't know. If, I, if it is, I'm, I don't know if what I'm you, in that club. What do you think the Tesla wave is, Danny? Like a, you wave like a hundred dollar bill in your cap? Yeah. I don't speak broke. And then you pull out another one. Rub their hands <laughs> evilly together. Right. A little cackle. <laughs> and they rub together. And they throw oh. hundred dollar bills at each other and say, pick it up. Do you feel like you're part of the vlog squad right now? You're filming for them? I do, yeah. It's something about these white Tesla seats, I feel <laughs> I know, like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where it gets a little, uh, so you can control how you like the air. Mm-hmm. You like it down. Oh, down, wow. You like the air. Uh, yeah, you could, could back there. You could get, I could put your seat heaters on. We get, we get seat heaters? Yeah, everyone gets a seat heater. You get a seat heater. Thank God. I thought I was shit myself for a second. Fucking royalty. Would you ever get fuzzy dice for this? Uh, yeah. be he used to be a big snake eyes guy back in the day. I'm not ruling anything out right now. Yeah. He's gonna get like uh, you gotta get the truck nuts on the back. Yeah, yeah oh I'm not. God. I'm definitely. I'm not ruling anything out. I know. I'm getting ready for my counterparts to be to be chastised for this move, but I'm ready. I feel the the heat on my butt cheeks right now. It's toasty. It's almost like you have full surveillance of the whole city. Well, that's what's nice too. I got you know, there's cameras on the side and on the front and everything. 
So I park next to White Sox Dave every day. That guy gives a little door ding, I'll catch his ass on the camera. <laughs> I'm seeing you, White Sox Dave. Skirt, no, oh my god, now that I feel like the man. Now I can do what I want, and you only do what you can. So I just heard a story that Alex mm. Bennett, mean girl number one, got sick at Barstool. I didn't get yeah. sick, I fell asleep. You're telling wrong stories. And okay, time out. Brandon Walker's sister tried to take care of her, and you told Brandon Walker's sister she's not allowed to talk to content people. Excuse me? That's what has been told. I said that she's not allowed to talk to them? That's what we've been told. I don't know if you guys saw the brush up on a day porn I showed the meteorologist, but I think it's probably just best we don't talk to each other anymore. Say that again? You guys are content, and I'm not content, so we shouldn't be talking to Why each other anymore. Why are you let's not make here? Let's not make Why this harder than it has here? to be. Why are you I know you're not good with goodbyes. Let's, we're done. All right. All right. This, is, this is for content only in here. Oh, so we're segregating the office now. Yeah, you're not allowed. Just, can you please? Don't make this harder than it has to be, please. Dave, just no more late night calls. None of that, all right? I would love to know what's going on right now. Uh... Uh, I, would you watch Portnoy show? No. A lot of people think we got all this merch because Dave bitch and Dave did bitch and thank you Dave for bitching. Wait, sales had it coming. No, merch had it coming. Merch had it coming. They told us in December 29th. They weren't even working. They were off. And merch was like, hey, we're going to send all this merch. We got merch? We do need a new... Or like any type of cabinet. Although people shit, Dave shit on this. I made this with my bare hands. I didn't mill the fucking steel, but I made that. It's not a bad merch stand. It's better than your merch stand. So the first thing okay. is, is I gotta give this for Ed. I was hoping he would be here. Yeah. Big John Candy guy. Yeah. Big, you know, Gus Polinski guy. So for our Christmas release, we have multiple icons, the wizard, the cat. Yeah. Um, we did a Home Alone theme and it's, Fat Cat Polinski or Gus Polinski. So this is for Ed, Pulp the King. It's got the cat playing the, playing the clarinet. This one's for Ed, so make sure Holy this one gets shit, to him. Holy yeah. dude. Yeah, so brand new 2022. Hasn't even hit stores <laughs> yet. Hasn't even hit stores yet. Had to get him the, the head cover for his, his favorite Halloween but, but costume. Ian said that he trusts Oh, this is the perfect putter for Ed, yeah. too. This yeah. is literally the perfect putter because yeah. a mallet would be too big and a blade would be too small. This is, like, such an easy thing to look at. But Ian said he dresses up like... Yeah, uh, yeah. Polinsky yeah. for Gus Polinsky's like yeah. his fuck. There, there you go. So that's, that's for Ed. We, one of the head covers we brought you is a mashup. Oh, sick. So it's a Chicago themed mashup. So we did a Blues Brothers collab uh, last year. And then we have our obviously Chicago dogs. And then we got our Windy City Wizard. The most popular best, putter. Yeah, one of our best selling putters. If you don't know anything about golf, but you're watching this, I just want you to know this is like absolutely incredible. And if you do know a lot about golf, I'll go on record and say I'm like the luckiest guy in the world right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I. There you go. Too hard. Okay. Yeah. Oh, money. Game over. Game over. <laughs> Good match. Guys, it's a great fucking day. We got a big snake draft coming up. Although I don't want to, I can't spoil anything because this is going to be out on Friday. I'm not, I don't know the timeline. Just big fucking snake draft coming Monday the 4th. No. Monday the 4th? 31? 31. Yeah. Monday the 31st. Monday the 31st, huge snake draft. What do you think about the Bears' new head coach hire? Eberflu, sorry, what am I talking about here? <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in on Eberflus. The name is great. It's one of those names I'm going to want to say Eberflus. It sounds like a, a nice oven-baked German dessert. Eberflus. Uh, ugly name, good coach, Thibodeau, that worked out well. How would you pronounce his name? <clears throat> Eberfluss. Eberfluss. That's how I thought it was pronounced. Eberfluss. It's not Eberfluss, that's too weak. Fluss. I think Fluss. it's a weak name in general. Eberfluss. It's like you want me to tell you what it means? The entomology? Yeah, Eberfluss meaning philosopher, careful, beautiful. I like that. I want reckless. You want your coach. coach to be reckless? Be nice change of pace from the shit we've seen in the last You've three seen decades. His defenses. 
He's not Defenses reckless. Defenses are good. He doesn't blitz at all. Who's going to be the OC? I, I think that people who have a reaction too strong or too, you know, Either negative way. the other way are stupid. That's what I think. I think it's like, all right, it's a new era. Like, you got to be hopeful. Um, obviously, like, we're damaged and we expect the worst, but, like, we just got to hope that this is it. That's legitimately how I feel. Expect I heard, the worst, hope for the best. Yes. I've heard that this guy's going to get our defense and our special teams in a fucking awesome – fucking clicking manner again so if that's true and then he fi- hires a good guy to, to do Justin Fields like then we could be in a good spot but you know it's we got a new head coach and GM I'll give you my opinion on them in two years okay that's fair what do you I like that one year is not enough after Nagy because we thought we had the guy 12 and 4 funny coincidence I, I, I was sick of the joke within 90 seconds yeah Matt Nagy, Ryan Pace, Ryan Poles, uh, Matt Eberflus. So we got the same names again. Uh, what's good, I mean, Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy, they're both four letter, both name kind of guys. I don't, Eberflus is just going to be Eberflus. Yeah. So I don't think it matters, you know? It could just be Flus, though. And, yeah. and then that would be four. Well, something but it's like a not, it's a nondescript four. So I don't think he's really going to be like a Matt, you know? Yeah. It's like he's not going to be like a whatever. Right? Home. The Flus is loose. Yeah, so that's my and I oh, pull, let's pull. Make that shirt. <laughs> there you go. All right. All right, Bang Bang. Today is Monday. It is January 31st. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. Uh, Snake Draft Monday. Today we're joined by a guy who I don't really like, but welcome to the show.